Lab Guy here. In the late 1960s and early 1970s, many companies introduced portable videotape recorders. These became known as porta packs because you had a strap and the tape recorder hang, hung on your shoulder. These tape recorders came with small portable video cameras using Viticon tubes. The camera usually has a one inch cathode ray tube for a viewfinder. The tape recorders are gone, but the cameras remain. So the question becomes, how do we use one of these cameras today? Conceptually, the television camera looks like this. It requires certain things to be put in to get certain things out. To run the camera, as I've indicated, takes 12 volts DC for power. Then to synchronize the scanning of the camera, you feed the camera horizontal drive and vertical drive. This is a set of pulses. In return, the camera will give you back a video signal, and there is also an, an additional signal generated by the trigger switch that was used to start and stop the tape. The horizontal drive and vertical drive waveforms look something like this. The horizontal frequency is 15,750 cycles per second, give or take. It's slightly different in color. It's also 60 cycles per second vertical, give or take. It's slightly different in color. I'm using a color sync generator, so the numbers are not the perfect black and white numbers you might encounter in a textbook. Every time one of these signals pulses, low, that tells the scanning circuit in the camera to start another scan line or a scan frame. Horizontal controls scan lines and vertical controls frames. Internally, the camera modifies and mixes these two pulses together to produce sync pulses, which are then added to the video signal to produce a complete composite signal. My test setup looks something like this. I have an AC powered sync generator that is connected to an AC powered camera adapter. The camera adapter provides the 12 volts DC to the camera and also allows me to connect the sync generator to the camera. As shown in the earlier diagram, the portable camera is plugged into the camera power adapter and the camera power adapter is receiving horizontal and vertical sync from the television sync signal generator. I'm using the pulses called horizontal drive and vertical drive. The cameras that I will be working with will be the JVC GS4500, the mate to the PV4500 video tape recorder, the Sanyo VC500, which was the mate to the 8100 V cord porta pack, a cassette recording system. Both of these are from approximately 1969 or 1970. This might be a couple of years older. Another camera I have available, but I have a problem. I don't have a lens that fits this one. It uses a non-standard lens mount. It is a Panasonic WV8080. It also has a viewfinder and probably would work if I had a lens. Well, enough talking about it. Let's see how this camera looks. We're looking at the video produced by the 1970 JVC GS4500U. This camera has been in a box collecting dust for the past 15 years in my storage unit. As you can see, it's connected to my new camera adapter and is operating. Too bad the cameraman needs to be fired. So there you go. That's what it takes to make 
a black and white porta pack camera operate correctly. Lab guy out. <laughs>